is just so tough to watch. By now, you've probably seen this heartbreaking video of a six year old little girl getting arrested back in September at our school. I'm here now with Channel 9's Deanna Albritton. And Deanna, you looked at this video today with a former sheriff's office commander. What happened? Well, he looked at this and he said in very plain terms, Martha, that this arrest was just not typical, that a child this young would not usually be restrained and then put in the back of a cruiser like you just saw there. And he shared his perception of why the officer, since fired, handled it this way. Is this body camera from another officer? Retired Orange County Sheriff's Office Commander Bill Armstrong tried to gather the facts as he watched the video shocking people across Central Florida. It's not gonna hurt. No, I from what I gathered from the video, you know, he, he came in with a mindset. He was probably going to take this child into custody no matter what. She's going to have to come with us now. Former OPD officer Dennis Turner then commands a transporting officer to arrest six-year-old Kaya within seconds of arriving in the room where Kaya read with a teacher. It appeared the child was cooperative. And because Kaya was already so calm when the officer arrived, Armstrong says it's fair to question why Turner was so quick to restrain her. He didn't come into some explosive situation that he had to admit immediately make a decision and that drove his mindset. Uh, it was pretty control there. But it quickly spiraled out of control when Turner instructed the other officer to zip tie Kaya's wrist, too small for regular handcuffs, and lift her into an OPD cruiser. Please. Please. Only in cases of extreme violence does Armstrong, with 43 years of experience, believe it could be reasonable to potentially restrain a child this young. Otherwise, he says this is just poor judgment. It's obviously traumatic for a child of that age to go through that. And, and yes, she did get 10 times more emotional uh, when uh, the restraints went on. So the video we were watching together, that came from the attorney for Kaya's family. A spokesperson for the firm representing them tells me they sent notice to OPD of their intent to sue the agency back in November. And if good faith negotiations don't start soon, as soon as they're legally able to file a suit, they will. Deanna Albritton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.